Hello, friends, and welcome to episode 248 of Looking at Stamps. And today we continue Women's Week here on Looking at Stamps. Today's theme is the stereotypical portrayal of women and young girls on U.S. postage stamps. Uh, the first theme is weak and helpless women. Uh, these stamps will show women in the presence of men or of men helping or protecting women and young girls. Uh, the first stamp is the 963 stamp. This is saluting young America. This was issued in 1948. Here we see a man and a woman portrayed together. The man is uh, stepping forward, uh, the woman is standing behind the man in the image. Uh, in these earlier stamps, many times that women will always be portrayed in the presence of men or needing men to protect them, which is the theme of 1007. This is the American Automobile Association stamp, the 50th anniversary, and this was issued in 1952. And here we show a man uh, uh, helping or preventing a young woman and a young girl from getting hurt at a crosswalk. Uh, so that is the uh, American AAA, American Automobile Association stamp, uh, issued in 1952. We also have the children's issue. Uh, this is where, once again, children uh, will always be portrayed uh, both uh, as young men and young women women uh, together very rarely alone and when uh, young girls are portrayed alone it's usually uh, for a um, a public service announcement type stamp uh, this is the retarded children can be helped this is issued uh, this is uh, Scott number 1549 and was issued in 1974 uh, the other interesting thing about these stamps is that when you see them together you'll always see women looking off to the side uh, unless it's a special issue stamp like this uh, to where men are usually uh, shown looking directly into the camera. Now we're going to have what we call traditional portrayal of women or stereotypical portrayals of women and the biggest one is the mother uh, the mother portrayal. Here we have the planning the family planning stamp uh, 1455 issued in 1972 and once again here you see uh, a woman uh, in the presence of her family uh, very rarely alone uh, we also have women portrayed as teachers this is 1093 uh, this was issued in 1957 and notice once again that the woman is looking away from the camera and is looking as her at her subjects um, rather than being the object of the gaze uh, and then we have the stamp issued in 1253 uh, that just simply says homemakers. Um, this is uh, 1253. This was issued in 1964. Now we do have some anomalies, I'm very happy to say. Uh, we also have the stamp 1013. This was issued in 1952. Uh, and this is the service women's stamp, which shows women uh, in the four branches of military service. But once again, as you can see, they are looking away from the camera and looking down from the camera rather than into the camera. Uh, and then we also have 1406. This is a woman's suffrage stamp issued in 1970. Um, and this once again shows uh, women. Uh, the women in front of the car are looking directly into the camera, but the woman that is voting is looking away. So uh, you'll see these portrayals last uh, through the 70s and 80s until we start getting uh, portrayals of much stronger women in postage stamps. And we'll view those on Friday, uh, tomorrow, we'll look at more traditional portrayals of actual women. And that is all the time we have for today. Have a great day, and I will see you again tomorrow. Bye-bye.